Smartphone Projector 2.0 on this episode of Reviews by This Guy. <laughs> special episode because I have yet to open this. I got it maybe a couple days ago, maybe even a week, I can't remember. But I have not opened the box, I have not seen what's inside. Now, I came across this on the Geek or Wish app and it looked kind of cool, so I purchased it and let's see if the thing works. Let's first open the box and see what's inside. Kind of a double feature, unbox it, reviews by this guy. Before I open the box, get more from your mobile movies and fo photos with Smartphone Projector 2.0. The slip in the lens, pop in your phone and enjoy mobile content at home or on the go at up to 8 times magnification. Comes assembled. So whatever's in this box is already put together. Down here it says check your, your phone's, check your phone fits. Come on now, Chinese. Speak English. Right here, I guess if you put your phone up there, that's you can determine whether your phone will fit in this projector. We got some directions here on the side of the box. It tells you how to, well, it's already assembled, but it tells you how to put it together, put your phone in, and all the goodies. Just take it out. That's all that's in the box, pretty much. Put the box aside here. Technically, if the lens is not in, it's not assembled. Guess this is where your phone goes. And I don't know what's in here. Maybe the lens. There's the pole the lens goes in. Maybe we're going to have to read these directions. Yep, there's your lens. Pad, I guess that's for your cell phone. There's the rubber for the lenses, for the lens. And that's all that's in this pouch. This, this expands out, yep. That expands out like that. And I guess your cell phone goes in here. I guess the sticky thing's supposed to go there to hold your cell phone. I'll install that in a minute. Let's try to put this lens together. I guess you're supposed to... Are we supposed to put both? No, it seems like only one rubber goes on there. Let's get the rubber over the lens, which is probably going to be difficult. At least for me. There. Oh, yep, difficult. Doesn't want to seem to stay on. Ah, uh, Jesus. Alright, I'm going to tell you right now, this sucks. The rubber will not stay on. This is horrible. Let's see if this is... A... Uh, they both look like the same size. Well, it's on there. No, it's not. I guess this is supposed to pop in here. The only problem is, is that this rubber does not go on. Oh, this is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm not messing with it. The rubber thing does not stay on. That's BS. Well, let's see if I can actually get this lens in here. That doesn't even want to go on right. Already, this thing is quite frustrating. Doesn't fit, Chinese. Doesn't fit. Finally got it in it's finally in there. Screw the rubber things. They're stupid. One's supposed to go in the front, one's supposed to go in the back. I mean, maybe they go over this so it, the pole doesn't slide in. Or out. Because it obviously doesn't go over the lens. I think that's what it's supposed to be. The rubber pieces are supposed to go on here. Let's install this inside yep that's exactly what those rubber pieces are for i was doing it wrong of course they're supposed to go on here to hold the lens from sliding in i put the rubber padding in now we got to get this cell phone in here which we can't use mine obviously because i'm still recording video with my cell phone god i need a camera Well, as you can see, I mean, you can't see it as good as I can see it on my camera, but this device isn't that good. 
I mean, that's to be expected. It's a cardboard thing with a damn magnifying lens. I don't know if the cell phone I'm using is not bright enough. As you can see, I got closer. You still can't see it. It's not all that bright. I'm not, as of now, unless I mess with it and see if I can make the damn thing brighter or whatnot, it's pretty bad. I mean, you try to go out, it gets blurry. I can't recommend it at this point. So, there you have it. Smartphone Projector 2.0. Great idea. Poorly executed. It barely works. You can't even see it. I mean, you get closer to the wall, the picture gets smaller, it gets a little clearer. But nonetheless, what they're claiming, this thing's not worth it. Don't waste your money. Great concept. Doesn't work. Throw that away. Thank you for watching another episode of Reviews by This Guy. If you have any questions, that weren't answered in the video, please leave them in the comments down below. If you found a way to make this device work better by, you know, modifying it somehow, please let me know in the comments down below. And please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more from the Wee Dean channel. <laughs>